2015 Nissan Rogue. It's a friend of mine's car. She's telling me there's no heat, no AC, which is usually no blower motor. So a year ago, I installed remote start in this for her. So that's the first thing I, th I thought of. Maybe something's wrong with the remote start. So now I got it here. Let's try it. It's very simple. Use the Nissan key fob. Lock, lock, lock. Let's make sure it still remote starts. Yup, so it's not that. It's probably going to be a bad blower motor. If it was the resistor, some speeds would work, some wouldn't. And as you'll see right now, none of the speeds work. Uh, let's see. All right, let's turn this up. nothing but i'm hearing some kind of ticking that sounds like one of the mode doors or blend doors are bad the modules but i hope not let's mess with the modes i'm hoping that's something else but i think the first thing i'm gonna do just go over the passenger side and I want to check that cabin air filter. Make sure that didn't get ripped to pieces and clog up the blower motor and cause it to stop. We'll see if that's the problem first. So you might say, Jamie, what are you talking about? Why would the remote start have anything to do with the blower motor? Well, this remote start has wire harnesses that plug in between the harnesses under the dash and the body control module. So yeah, the fan probably goes through that. The HVAC, the radio, everything goes through that. So it could have been those plugs from the remote start. But being that the remote start still works, it's probably not that. So let me go down and check the filter. So on Thursday, through Napa, I ordered the blower motor and the resistor. I got both. I'm going to replace both just to be on the safe side because apparently it's a, kind of a circus to take this all apart. But uh, AutoZone had it. And Napa, both of them, 166 bucks. And AutoZone, they wanted three something, 300 something dollars. It's probably all dorm and trash anyway. So we got this. Got to try to save a couple of dollars. All I did so far was pull the cabin air filter out. My hands are already numb. It's not as bad as I thought, but you know. Could have been a lot worse. Let's look on the other side. Not too bad. But just curious. Let's, let's try to start it. Because that was in there funny. And I had a tough time pulling it out. Maybe that was jammed on something. Let's find out. Nope, we got nothing. Nothing. So the blower motor shot. I guess I'll try, I'm gonna try the video doing this, but it's behind all this. It's down there, you gotta take the brake pedal out, the gas pedal, and it's back behind there. So I'll see what I can do about doing clips. All right, one more thing I need to check, the fuse. So let's look on here. Right there, blower motor. Blower motor, 15 amp. It's probably blue, yup. All right, so there we go. It's tough one-handed, but what are you gonna do? Get in there. All right, so it's lit. Let's try the other side. And it's lit, so the fuse is good. So yeah, it's unfortunate. It's the blower motor. Let's get it. All right, we got some 10 millimeters. We gotta take this knee bolster off. Let's get them. Any more? Uh, 
think that's it. Them two, now let's try to pull this off. I had it off doing the remote start, but I forget. It was a year ago. So we got this. I remember something about you gotta just pull it out. Yep, you gotta take a chance of breaking it. I don't know why they can't just have screws. You undo the screws and it comes off. Well, no, let's complicate it. Let's make, make them so they break something. So we gotta spend thousands of dollars for a stupid little plastic piece. Let's try to be positive here. All right. So now we gotta unplug the world, see it? All of them gotta come out just so we can get this out of the way. Hmm, look at this. The floor is soaking wet. Why? Look at that. Ah, uh, so that might be another problem now. I guess we're gonna have to figure it out. All right, I'm gonna have to unplug these without you. They're a circus. Well, it's the next morning, Tuesday morning. So I got duped last night because apparently I went on Google to see where the blower motor was and everything I could find, it says it's on the driver's side. So yeah, last night I spent three hours taking the whole world apart on the driver's side. Turns out that's only up to 2013. 2014, 15, it's on the passenger side, which is much easier jobs, not too bad. So you gotta take the radio out, the HVAC controls. You gotta take this vent out. You gotta take the glove box out. Got the glove box on the back seat. And here's the blower motor. There it is. I'm so glad this is the 2015 and not the 13, because apparently the 13's a nightmare. This isn't too bad. So let me change this and we'll see if it works. All right, I got the old blow mo blower motor out. Here's the new one. It says it's made in Canada, you know. So it's a lot easier to do it over this side than it is the driver's side. Thankfully, this is the 2015. So I'm gonna put this new one in, then we'll test it. All right, so I just fought with the new blower motor to get that in there. What a nightmare that was. Let me tell you something. It says you push it in and you turn it. Look, I had to use these oil filter wrenches in order to turn, it would not move. Finally got it to move to put the screw back in that holds it. Let's test it, man. Before I put this back together, I got to make sure. So I just plug back in the HVAC controls. Let's try it. Just going to turn accessory on. There we go. We got fan. Even the plug to plug in was a nightmare. It wouldn't unplug right wouldn't plug back in right so this is definitely not a how-to video this is just i'm just showing you the location of the blower motor because uh i don't i don't know if you could video this and keep it family friendly you know what i'm saying <laughs> with language because uh this is definitely not an easy job but it's working let me put it back together so i can give it back to her then i gotta go to work